What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta check out what O'Shea Jackson Jr. recently was talking about um, on Twitter. He had a, I guess he had a, a interview with Chris Van Vliet and they posted like a clip of it, basically talking about how AEW can better itself and, and you know, and grow from where it is right now. Cause the general consensus is right now, it's kind of in this stagnant place. They're not gaining as many uh, newer fans to the product that they should be um and it could be better just like wwe could be better as well there's always things to work on but he was just giving his personal opinion on what can make aew a little bit better and he's had a few opinions wrestling related i didn't even know he was a big wrestling fan until i saw him posting different takes on twitter and he would get a lot of backlash for his different opinions so we're gonna check this out because ultimately what he ended up saying i'm guessing it didn't go too well because wrestling fans started acting like wrestling fans and start saying some very disrespectful stuff to him and his father ice cube so we're gonna check this out you know it's it's, it's gonna be very interesting <laughs> to see what some of the uh aw fans have to say this was um on this particular tweet o'shea jackson jr on aew fans and what's missing if i'm watching someone on aew and i ask who uh is this guy i don't need you to tell me i'm not a real wrestling fan just off that quote alone bruh you'd be surprised how many people be like oh you don't know this wrestling legend from new japan you don't know this person oh you're not a real wrestling fan no maybe it's just i didn't watch wrestling in this part of the world it doesn't make me less of a wrestling fan because i don't know this particular wrestler but we're gonna check this out see what he had to say someone Hold on. if i'm watching someone on AEW, and i ask who is this guy i don't need you to tell me i'm not a real wrestling fan to tell me how could you not know such and such mm -hmm. who did uh, who gives a damn? Like, I, I need you. All right, inform me, bro. Or at least have your programming in a way to let people know why you should love this dude, why you should fuck with this guy. That's mm -hmm. something that I feel like is missing. When you, Conan, when I was on his podcast, he brought up, when you watch UFC and they give you a little backstory about this dude, backstory mm -hmm. about that dude. Uh, what this guy's had to go through, what he's done, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. and then they put him in the room, and they cuss each other out. And then by watching those videos, you've picked a side yes. of who you're with. Mm -hmm. It's missing from that. What what they have is this 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 niche group of people mm -hmm. who watch all of these wrestling shows, and they're already in the know. Yeah. So when they see these names together, it is a dream match for them. But you're trying to sell this to American television, baby. You got And see, he's spot on. What he just said there, he's very spot on. You're trying to sell this. Like I was just saying, the product has gotten stagnant in the sense of they're not trying to grow their audience they're cool with the audience that they got which is fine but if you're trying to compete and grow your business you should be wanting to grow the audience more who don't know about what's going on in aew you know you want to bring in newer people to be like oh let me check out aew let's see what's going on here and it's kind of hard to do that if you got all these wrestlers that are popular elsewhere but the mainstream consumer doesn't know who the hell they are so you got to kind of explain why you should care about this person you gotta movie that up a little bit you gotta give me some some cinema to follow you know some something to hold on to besides the announced team uh running down a list for me while this dude's walking down the ramp yeah and i feel like that's missing and when you are trying to get involved and and and, and trying to to really give something a chance and when you question it even a little bit mm. and you get 80 no-faced accounts uh, <laughs> coming at you. Yeah. And at, at any given time, you're like, man, fuck this noise, bro. Like, I'm, I'm cool off of it. If y'all like it, I don't. And I don't want that. You know, I have people over there that are that I'm cool with, you know. And Hey, man, that's, that's spot on. What he said there was very spot on. The moment you say something, and this goes on the WWE side of things, too. 
sometimes people will say something and you you know it may be a, a, a harsh criticism of wwe and the product and then wwe fans will start you know spewing out toxic rhetoric so i, I get what he's saying there like if i don't know this guy and this bit man there's so many people I've seen on AEW television, I didn't know who the fuck they were, but other people in the chat knew who they were. And I've never looked at anyone differently because they knew more than me. That's that's fine. I'm okay with not knowing every wrestling legend or every wrestling personality or every wrestling hold move. I'm okay with not knowing that because that's the whole purpose of life, to get to know more information than you did before. So, and to his point, they need to do a better job of setting things up where this foreign wrestler or this independent wrestler that's been doing crazy on the independent scene, build them up to a point where, hey, we're going to have this person on the show in the next couple of weeks. Let me, let's give them, give you a background of who this guy is. The same thing with WWE and what they've always done. Um, sometimes it's not to the success of the talent that they're trying to bring up from NXT. NXT has a niche audience of people that watch it. It's a developmental ground for the main roster. You want to get people involved in who this person is as you're bringing them up. You want to create these vignettes and video packages or really start just easing them in before they have their first match. Because at the end of the day, you're not only trying to sell this person to the live audience, you're trying to sell this person to the audience watching at home so that way they may want to say, hey, this guy is good. I want to see this person live. Let me buy a ticket. Simple. And I think AEW has a tough time doing that. They just, they just kind of, hey, this guy's a legend. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, then you're not a wrestling fan. It's like that's That should not be the case. But let's go into some of the backlash he received. So... This is from Julian Weeks on his Twitter. I guess he reposted uh, the screenshots of some of the backlash he was receiving, uh, O'Shea. Um, once again, AEW fans have gone too far. Pissed off Ice Cube. Tagging that man's dad was low as fuck, but I'm not surprised one bit. So let's check out the tweets in question. Man, I never wished that Ice Cube pulled out more in my life than when this sped was conceived. Wow. Damn, that's kind of fucked up, bro. Whoa, like, what are we doing? So that's that's the tweet he sent to his dad. So let's see what Ice Cube had to say. Ice Cube respond, fuck your wishes, bitch-ass drughead. Damn. And his name is Drugs Delaney. Damn, bro. Dog, y'all are wild. What are we doing, man? Like, what what's... What's happening here? Why is this a thing? What's going on here? <clears throat> like, I, <clears throat> you wrestling fans, man. And I'm a wrestling fan too, but some of y'all, y'all are just, y'all take it too far, bro. You can disagree with his point, but O'Shea just proved why <laughs> some of you fans take it a little bit too far. He literally just proved it. Because you didn't like his take, because you didn't like his opinion, he didn't even shit on the product. He just basically was voicing what they could do better to make it make it better for more people who want to watch the show. He has people that he's cool with that actually work for AEW, and you sit up there and still say some wild, disrespectful stuff to his father. Like, bro. And the funny thing is about this, this whole situation is what O'Shea just said in that interview wasn't wrong. He was offering fair criticism to make the product better. It'd be different if he just just shot on AEW said this shit is trash. That wasn't even it. He wants the product to succeed. And if you're too fucking high on your AEW uh premium wrestling knowledge ho high horse to realize that then you're part of the problem. You don't want the product to grow. You can't say you do. Because if you wanted it to grow, you would take some of these criticisms as and look at them like, okay, well, I want more people to watch, you know, enjoy the show that I'm watching. And if you really care about 
wrestle your show being seen more then you should want that you should want your wrestling show to get better i'm always down for aew to get better any way possible and same way with wwe if there's something that they can do to make things better even if it's little that's a good thing you never know what fan may get turned on to the product just adding a few changes but once again wrestling fans prove sometimes why uh they shouldn't be wrestling fans saying stuff like this it's fucking cringe it's weird and you're a loser because you wouldn't say this to ice cube himself you definitely wouldn't say this to o'shea yourself you're only saying this behind an account on twitter fucking losers but comment down below let me know do you guys agree with o'shea's uh comments and criticisms of aew not doing a very good job on explaining who some of these wrestlers that not many people may know other than the hardcore fans do you feel like his uh comments were justified could they do a better job of doing that or do you feel like that uh o'shea is wrong in this assessment let me know down below but i appreciate all the love support you guys shown on the channel bro 250k and i'm still young speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace